A national gender policy to promote the 35% affirmative action for women in politics and governance is yet to get legal backing. But some Nigerians recall the role of the wife of a former president, Good Luck Jonathan, whom they celebrate today as a women's rights activist and peace advocate. Implementation of the 35% affirmative action in november 2014 the wife of the former president of nigeria patience jonathan challenged women lawyers to push for the passage of the 35 percent affirmative action while the dream is yet to be actualized five years on family members friends and associates of the former first lady remember her role in the push for the implementation of the national gender policy seeking more women participation in politics and governance. She led the women folk to make sure that during my husband's regime, I went to her serving as first lady, that should be 35% affirmative. She didn't just mention it verbally. She went all out, convincing all the men and all strators to make sure that Women occupy 35 percent even more than 35 percent. She believes in what good governance should be and the process it should pass through. And I think she has really helped in nation building. And also, I know she was part of the 35 percent affirmative action. Others at the occasion call for a united Nigeria devoid of ethnic, religious and partisan considerations. She has never said anything that is contrary to peace. She's very passionate about the Nigerian project and she wants Nigerian state to get it right. We are behind her and that whatever that she wants to do for the Nigerian states that let her have the opportunity to do it again. You know me, I'm my peace. Dame Patience Jonathan is 54. I am overwhelmed because I did not plan for any events. By God's grace, when I will be 60, then you all of you that are my children, that time, celebrate me. I will celebrate with you. Ovietime George, TVC News, Yenagoa.